Hi everyone. This case is very close to home for me. I was born and raised in a little village called Bilton outside of Hull. Its population now is 2,200, but it was a lot less in 1979. Um, they've done new builds since then, so the population is far bigger. Many people who lived there were working class families who earned their own homes. Um, it was regarded as a posh village. Do I sound posh? Nah. The main issue in the village, people didn't have much to do. And gossip, the gossip was rife. It, you could have your first kiss in the field, someone could see you, and all of a sudden you're having rumpy pumpy. If you was into heavy metal and wore rock clothes, all of a sudden you're a devil worshipper. Now don't get me wrong, it is a lovely, lovely village and you know, you have a really good upbringing there. But back in 1979, the gossip, a big cloud of gossip descended upon Bilton. There was a 36 year old woman called Gloria Bilby. She lived down Dornay Road in Bilton with a young son and her husband who was a butcher. Need I say any more? Shall I go on with this video? Yep, you heard right, her husband was a butcher. So Gloria worked for Reckitt and Coleman. Sometimes she'd go help her husband in his butchers. Gloria was the next model and she once won the Miss Bridlington contest and she got a lot of male attention. She was having numerous affairs, but one affair that she was having was, uh, I will not say his name, but he was an ex-rugby player, um, an all-round sportsman and a businessman. They were planning on going on holiday together, unbeknown to her husband, and the, he was married, and there were suggestions that they were both going to divorce their partners and marry each other. Before Gloria disappeared, she started complaining that she started getting very strange phone calls. People were ringing her up, not saying anything or heavy breathing, and it really did scare her. On the 1st of February, 1979, at 9.30pm, Gloria was dropped off by her boyfriend and visited her twin sister who also lived down Dornay Road. She fell asleep on her sister's sofa and at 11pm she returned home. According to the husband, he gave Gloria that night £3,500 for a car and it was part of a separation settlement between them. The husband claims at 6am on the Friday the 2nd of February his alarm went off and he woke up and heard Gloria leaving the house. It was then he discovered all her clothes were gone and she had left him. He was very upset even though he always knew that she would leave. It was three months, three months before he reported Gloria missing and she had not been in touch with the son. And you'd think with a young son, she loved him dearly. All the family members said she really loved him and there's no way she wouldn't be in touch. So why did he leave it three months before he reported her missing? A neighbour claimed she saw Glory that day and it was about 12.15pm at dinner time that she saw Gloria with a well-dressed Mediterranean looking man. He was driving the car, a red car that looked like a Capri and she was putting a suitcase in the boot. Local children were questioned by the police because they saw Gloria that day at dinner time putting the suitcase in the boot. However, Gloria's neighbor claims that the man who was with her that day was not her boyfriend and she had not seen him before. The rumours are the man who picked Gloria up 
matches the description of one of the husband's part-time workers called Pee Wee. The police have never traced the man who picked up Gloria that day. Gloria did have a passport and it's never been touched. I think back then it was so much easier to change your identity and not get caught. You know, it could be that she set off and wanted to start a new life, but she loved her son and there's no way she wouldn't have been in touch. The police reopened this case in 2013 and got no new leads. Um, there was a body found on South Bank, Jane Durr, and they thought it was her, but through dental records they found it was not her. At the time when the police were investigating, they went to the butcher's shop and they checked all the mincing equipment to see if Gloria had been minced. Which is kind of disturbing because my dad used to go to that butcher's. So, you know, I don't like to think that I've eaten Gloria. The villagers were absolutely convinced that the husband had minced Gloria, so much so some young thugs decided to graffiti on the house Gloria's sausage rolls sold here. I was a toddler when this happened and I'd like to think Gloria just took off and started a new life. It's very sad for a son though, but the alternative, it, it's better than the alternative. In October 2019, an inquest was held and Gloria Bilby was declared deceased as there was no proof of life. The police do think that she met with foul play. Thanks for listening. If you know anything, say something. Don't have nightmares.